Okay, unahan ko na kayo. Kung may mga maririnig kayong manok, hayaan nyo na. Wala na tayo magagawa dyan. Hey guys, it's Kel. Well, hey guys, it's Kel. For today's video, finally, masashare ko na sa inyo yung photo and video folder sa aking cellphone. I recently gave a glimpse about this folder on my previous video, which is yung what's on my phone. If you wanna see it, ilalink ko na lang siya sa baba, so check nyo na lang. Anyways, I'll be showing you guys how I edit my photos for my Instagram, how I edit my IG stories, some apps that give that vintage film effect and whatnot. Anyways, yun nga, if you wanna see how I do it, then please keep on watching. in video folder ko. I already, like what I said, I already showed this uh, what's on my phone video. Again, the link is down below. Before, it only has two pages. But since I'm the type of person na nag explore ng mga applications sa App Store, so nandagdagan siya. So, we currently have three pages. So, explain ko yan in the best way that I could. So, let's start. Sorry guys, kung may mga maririnig kayo ingay, hindi ko na yan makakontrol. So, let's proceed. I actually don't know kung paano ko to na-categorize. Yung first four applications, these applications are not basically my editing apps. Pero it has something to do with photos and videos. That's why I placed it here. Ay sis, namumula. Namumula po yung leeg ko. I don't know why. Don't know why. Don't know why. Ayan yun eh. Don't mind. I'm bothering. Nababother talaga ako. Wait lang. Moments later. <laughs> Wala nangyayari. Lesson ba? <laughs> so again, the first four applications na meron ako dito, these are for my gadget. So, DJI Fly app for the drone. Meron ako unboxing video nito guys. If you wanna see it, ilalink ko na lang din siya sa baba. So, ayan, DJI Fly app. It's how it looks like. Imagining Edge. This one is for the camera. Para makonect ko, makukuha agad yung photos from my camera instantly. GoPro. Of course, alam niyo na yan. And then lastly is Yumi Action. This is for my other action camera which is yung Xiaomi Yi. Yi Action. Xiaomi Yi. Xia Action. Basta Xiaomi siya. Next is iMovie. iMovie. iMovie is a pre-installed application sa Apple, sa iOS. So sa, even sa laptop ko meron ito. And that is what I also use sa aking vlogs on editing my vlog. So iMovie po yung gamit ko. Hindi ko din nilit yung iMovie sa aking phone. Kasi minsan ginagamit ko siya in editing yung mga simple fast videos like yung mga cooking sa pinag-compile ko to make it as one video if that made sense. So for example, hmm, you know what? I already deleted my cooking videos. Uh, Okay, since wala na ako makita mga cooking uh, videos ko sa aking phone, probably na-delete ko na sila after I posted it. So, I'll show you an example. Then, I'll show you how I did it. Ito, sa IG story ko na dishes. Wow. Lakas makakook. Hindi naman ako magandang magtuto, guys. But ever since nag-start yung quarantine, I started to explore more in the kitchen. So, medyo may mga nagawa na tayo kahit papano ng mga pagkain. So, good job, self. Okay, so this one. Ayan. So, my first time to make coffee jelly. That's very simple. I do it by, of course, creating a new project. Let's click movie. Actually, in iMovie, you can compile both videos and photos. For example, this cinnamon roll. Anyways, this cinnamon roll. Super sarap, guys. I'll be putting the link down below kung gusto nyo i-check. Order kayo sa kanila. Super worth it. After you're selected, then create movie. And then, yan, lalabas na yung clips that you selected. So, ito kasi, as you guys can see, na, medyo na-crop siya kasi naka-landscape talaga yung default ng iMovie. So, what I do is, I pinch it like this. There. And you guys saw in the screen na nagbago talaga yung kanyang orientation. So, itong mga nasa gitna nung um, files, these are the effects. So, I usually prefer no effects. Just none. None. Para tuloy-tuloy lang siya. And here, meron siyang default um, setting which is yung Ken Burns. So, Ken Burns is like, is something like this. Pakita ko na lang. Ikaw naman magde-decide ko ano yung starting and end point mo. But, I don't like that. So, what I do, I disable this one. Tapos, ida-drag ko na lang kung ano yung gusto kong makita dun sa photo. Next is clips. So, clips, I don't really use this. Pero, inisip ko kasi na baka magamit ko siya in the near future because this application has a lot of cool effects. Pakatang sa inyo yung sample na ginawa ko before with my Bessie. So, here. Oh 
Okay, so yun lang. Anyways, I'll show you guys some scenes. So yun, tawag pala nila sa effects ay scenes. So, ayan. Can you guys see what cool that is? So, meron pa yung iba. So, parang nagiging green screen siya. Yung background mo nag-iiba. Nag-iiba yung scene. Super daming effects that you guys can choose from. So, it's a cool app. Anyways, let's now proceed to my most favorite application, my top one editing application, which is yung Visco, VSCO. I don't know what's right or what's wrong. This is where I edit most of my photos. If you guys follow me on Instagram, makikita nyo doon yung aking feed. But if you guys don't, then follow me. It's at Kel Amorin Vlog. I don't have a particular theme on my IG. One thing lang na gusto ko sa IG feed ko is hindi siya ganun kadilim. Basically, I like bright photos. So, I'll share with you guys how I usually edit sa aking Visco application. For example, this one. This is my photo sa nagsasa Cove Sambales. I also have a vlog there. So, if you guys wanna see it, ililink ko na lang. Hindi siya sa baba. Ano ko na ililink sa baba. Pero saan i-check nyo, guys. So, this is a raw copy of this photo. So, click natin to. And then, I have several, gosh, what do you call it? Presets. So, ayun. I have my favorites. Yun yung SE3 and then S2. But my most favorite here is S2. The first thing that I usually do is sharpen my photo. So, depende na lang kung gano ka sharp yung photo. And this, I like it. Mga nasa 7. And then, tinataas ako yung brightness po minsan, but not too much. Mga 0.5. So, medyo magtataka kayo bakit naglagay pa ako, nagtaas pa ako ng brightness, pero 0.5 lang. Guys, it it affects the photo. Kahit 0.5 yan, 0.1, 0.2, it really affects the photo. You guys can see. Ayan. Kita nyo ba? 0.5 lang yan, pero it does a lot din sa photo. Uh, contrast, pinsan lang. Pero usually, if I do put contrast, mga 0.2 lang or 0.5. Saturation, minsan lang kapag medyo matamlay yung kulay ng photo. That's it. Then, I will proceed to my preset. And then, you can adjust the preset. So, pwede mo siyang babaan para medyo mabawasan yung effect niya dun sa photo. Can you guys see the difference? Okay lang naman, hindi ko nadadamihan yung examples kasi ganun lang ako mag-edit. Trial and error lang kung anong magustuhan ko, then that's it. Matching ako, wait lang. So before I proceed dun sa next application, meron ako ipapakita sa inyo guys na other feature of this ko. So you just have to click yung upper left icon which is yung parang camera. This one. Para siyang boomerang, but it's not boomerang. Hindi ko ma-explain, pero papakita ko na lang sa inyo. Ayan, nagpifilm pala ako sa labas, guys. So, you can guys see the green stuff. Anyway, so, eto siya. See? That sounds like... I saw this effect kay Jess Conti. So, if you guys follow her, you'd know this. Next is Lightroom, my other editing application. I use this kasi meron tayong certain parts sa photo na gusto nating liwanagan or diliman pa. As you guys can see sa photo, it's very matamlay. Merong mga parts ng photo na parang hindi ganun ka-strong yung kulay. Like for example, yung dagat, medyo matamlay yung pagka-blue green niya or yung clouds, matamlay yung pagka-blue niya. This is where I use my Lightroom application. First, the thing that I do is I click the detail. Tapos nandiyan, again, sharpening. I really love the tool sharpen. For this photo, let's put it to 50. Then, let's now proceed with the colors because yun naman yung purpose ng Lightroom for me. Let's click yung mix na mayroong circle color palette sa gilid. So, titignan mo dun sa photo kung ano yung color na gusto mo pang pating ka rin or bawasan yung kulay or diliman or liwanagan. So, for example, the clouds. So, gusto ko siyang medyo maging strong yung color blue. So, i-click natin yung blue. Then, so, meron dyang hue, saturation, and luminance. So, wala lang babaguin sa hue because I like that shade of blue already. So, zero na natin yan. Saturation. Medyo tataasan natin. Gawin natin mga 10. And then, luminance. When you want it to be bright, ayan. And then, you want it to be dark. It really makes a huge difference of photo. That's why I really love Lightroom. Uh, let's make it to 30. Next is yung blue-green. Increase the saturation to 10 or increase it up to 90. It still looks good. Then, luminance. Wala, wala tayong gagawin sa luminance. Tapos, if hindi ka pa satisfied dun sa buhay ng color ng photo, then you can increase the vibrance. So, itong vibrance naman, it adjusts the color of the whole picture. So, hindi na siya specific sa isang color. For example, let's put it to 20. Ayan yung difference na guys. Sobrang layo dun sa original photo. 
Ayun yun naman na sobrang linaw. You can darken it. I really like to decrease the black portion or the black tool dito sa light category. Let's decrease the dark to 20. It's better. Contrast. Let's put it to 5. Ayan. I think that's done. <laughs> So, hindi pa ako satisfied sa photo. In-export ko siya then I import it sa Visco. Tapos, doon ko dadagdag yung favorite preset ko na S2. Before and after. So, just a tip. If ayaw nyo na pa ulit-ulit na nag-edit ng light, color, detail, and whatnot, you guys can just click the three-dotted option sa upper right. Then, copy settings. Tapos, makakopy niya yung entire setting mo sa photo na yun. Then, you can just apply it in other photos. Next is photo fix, but I'll be doing a separate video dito sa photo fix kasi medyo detail siya. So medyo magkakosya ng time sa haba itong video na to. But I'll show you guys a glimpse. Let's say for example this photo, ayaw ko nung um, nito, na mayroong mga nagkakayak dyan. So I want it to be plain. I use the photo fix app and then I remove yung mga unwanted things dun sa photo. Then, tara! So ayan, wala na. So share ko na lang yan dun sa next video. So, ayan, next page na tayo. First application is the Fonto. Again, next video na lang din to. This is what I use when I'm editing my YouTube video thumbnail dito sa aking phone. PixArt application is in connection with my Fonto application. PixArt is what I use to cut a specific object or person in a photo. Let's say, for example, I have here this one myself. Meron ditong um, option or tool which is yung cut out. Then, the application gives you options if you want to cut person, face, hair, head, or background out. So again, ang gusto ko i-cut dito is yung ako, so person. Then, it automatically select yung person na nakikita ng application dun sa photo. So ayan, nag nag nagkaroon ako ng red red color. So that means yun yung i-cut ng application dun sa photo. So if merong na-miss out yung application, pwede nyo naman siyang i-manual. So, click restore tapos, ayan, ganyan nyo lang. Then, or meron na magpas, meron naman siyang option to erase. Then, preview. Ayan, meron na kayong cut out. That easy. So, save nyo lang. Then, next. Then, save. Download photo. So, check natin sa photos ko. There you go. So, ayan. Meron na akong cut out ng photo ko in just seconds. So, super dali. So, yun lang naman na ginagawa ko sa PixArt. So, let's now move on to anum, unum, an um. Hindi ko rin alam ko ano correct pronunciation dito. But, an um. So, ayan. Makikita mo dito yung IG feed mo. Iko-connect mo lang yung application dun sa Instagram. You can use this app to plan your photos that you will be posting in the future. Most especially if you're an OC person like me na gusto na medyo okay tingnan yung feed. This app is for you. Try natin. Camera roll. Just select, hold, and then drag. Dito kayo magta-trial and error ng IG post mo, kumbaga. So, the next two applications, yung Unfold and Michi, these are the applications that I use whenever I need a template to post on my IG story. So, let's now first open Unfold. Hindi to pro version, so this is just a free application. If I want to combine several photos in just one photo to post on my IG story, pwede rin dito, pwede, pwede rin dito guys yung video. So, marami siyang templates. Then, may mga templates na kailangan mo nang bayan. Pero hindi na ako gumastos pa. Kasi hindi ko naman siya ganun kadalas ginagawa. Next application is Nietzsche. Nietzsche offers a lot of pretty aesthetic templates for your IG story. Meron siyang pro version. Pero again, hindi ko na to pinurchase. Actually, yung mga free templates nila sobrang aesthetic. Sobrang gaganda na. So, oo nga, oo nga. Nag-agree yung manok sa akin. Let's like, say, for example, this one. Para siyang film vintage effect template. Import several photos. Say, ganyan. See how pretty that is? You can edit this one if gusto mo. Let's say, city lights. And mga ganyan, I won't go into detail, but it actually has a lot of options. It actually has a lot of settings, font, colors. Next here is Perfect 365. This is my life savior, especially if I want a photo, pero medyo haggard ako doon, medyo madilim, medyo oily. So this is what I use. Gawin ko kayo ng example, photo makeup. Say, I have a selfie here. Um, this one. Si meron siyang agad na automatic makeup. So, ito yung application na magbibigay ng makeup sa mukha mo. Most especially if you're barefaced sa isang photo, then you guys can edit, put makeup dito sa application. 
Meron naman na siyang mga default makeups, but I don't use that. I prefer no look. Then, I proceed sa tools. And here, marami siyang options. Let's say, gusto ko na medyo mag-soften yung skin ko. Let's click that. Tapos, increase na lang to. If gusto natin na medyo mas makapal yung blush, meron din siyang option dito. Tapos, you guys can choose from this palette. Pwede mo siyang kapalanin, sobra kapal. Pero, of course, we go for somehow natural look. Fresh lang. We have here lips. So, pwede mo rin, again, palitan yung lipstick color mo. If gusto mo na mas strong yung color yung brown, increase mo lang. Next, let's go to eyes. Pwede mo lagyan ng eyeshadow, ng eyebrows, eyelashes, eye color. See? Instant contact lens. You guys can also change your hair color. Huwag na natin maguhin yan. Shape. Gusto mo na mag-slim yung mukha mo. Ito ba? Kung sa ilong mo, maging lifted yung cheeks mo. Lip plumper kung gusto maging ala. Kylie Jenner ang yung lips. Then you guys can do it. You guys can put um, nose line, slim face. Gusto mo mas lumipay sa pa. <laughs> Ayun. The before and after. And we're down to our last page. So finally, matatapos na ako. So these applications on my last page, ito yung mga ginagamit ko usually sa mga videos. I have Sparkle Cam. So ito, from the word itself, the application puts sparkle dun sa photo or sa video. So you guys can see, mayroon sparkles. You guys can edit kung gano'n ka shimmer, gano'n ka laki. Super dami niya options. And this is what I use kapag gusto ko medyo maging extra yung video or yung photo na ipopost ko sa IG story. I use Sparkle Cam. The next two apps are my VHS cams. The apps that I use to put that vintage film effect like ito yung dalawang app na ginagamit ko. So, this is VHS Cam. Meron tayo mga films dyan sa taas na nababawasan once you record. But, you can gain films by clicking the menu tapos ayun na, touch here to earn more recording time. So, manonood na kayo ng ad for you to be able to record more. So, try natin mag-record. Pagka-record mo, ayan, nabawasan na yung film ko sa taas. Mag-automatic saver import naman siya sa gallery mo. It's so cute! Next is camcorder. It has the same purpose. It serves the same effect. But the difference here is that you can import your pre-recorded video para magkaroon siya ng same effect na VHS cam. Yung isang application kasi you have to buy the pro version just to be able to import videos. Say this one. Done. See? It automatically saved on your album. Next is InShot. So, yes, last two applications. Um, this one, I use Whenever I see girls and boys selling lanterns. Whenever I also compile videos, let's say compile natin tong dalawa. Then check. I use this whenever I want to adjust the speed of a certain video. Pwede siyang bilasa, pwede siyang bagalan, and pwede siya. Or meron siyang certain effect. Ah, uh, nasa na Filter. Then, go to effect. May effect na glitch, may noise. Pero, again, meron ditong mga unlocked features that you have to buy pa. Tort, style, celebrate, flip, mirror. Yan, mga ganyang um, effects. And then, lastly, I know meron tayong boomerang um, features sa IG. Pero, I still downloaded the boomerang standalone application just because kapag sa IG, for example, you took uh, a boomerang shot tapos you want it to post mamamaya or bukas pa, you just saved it tapos pagkakita mo sa gallery, medyo distorted siya, medyo blurry. Hindi na ganun ka-crisp or hindi na ganun kaganda yung quality. Anyways, napag-usapan na rin naman yung mga video apps ko. Share ko na rin sa inyo yung Snapchat kasi nasa social folder ko siya but hindi na kasi ako active dito. I only use this Kasi magaganda yung effects, magaganda yung filters. Click mo lang yung face mo. Tapos, yan, nalabas na yung mga filters na available. Um, before, active ako dito, but nagkaroon kasi na IG story. So, doon ako mas naging active. Sobrang cute na mga filters dito. Nakakaganda. Nakaka-fresh. So, yun, that's Snapchat. I use this for IG stories as well. Anyways, that's it for my editing applications. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it as well. I know medyo mahaba-haba yung video, but I hope you guys had some takeaways yung sa mga applications or sa mga konting tips and tricks na na-share ko sa inyo. So, ayun, that's my current editing apps. For sure, matadagdagan pa to or mababawasan. Mayroon pa ako mga ma-explore. And if that happens, we'll probably making an updated version of this editing applications video. So, if you guys want to get notified whenever I do it, please like this video. 
video and subscribe to my channel. And click the notification bell so you won't miss out. Anyways, again, that is it for this video. Keep safe and stay healthy, everyone. Major risky na lumabas, lalo na lang ngayon. Most of the people are back to work. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you jump back again soon. Bye.